science is a open field, and in science we always try to do more visibility, like of how you do experiments, where the data come from, and like protocol wise and everything. So promote visibility, especially for uh, LGBTQ uh, community. I think it's more of promote science and STEM in those communities that tell them that there's more options in science as well, that it's also a very comfortable environment to do. You know, I identify as the L in LGBTQ, but just because I identify as one of those letters in that acronym doesn't mean I understand everything about those letters. So one of the things that I want to increase is my use of gender neutral pronouns in my verbal communication and my written communication, but then include those in with um, my introductions and about what pronouns I use. And I think all the faculty members are supportive of that. It's just a knowledge and a comfort level of using those um, gender neutral pronouns in our communication. I'd like to uh, address the entire uh, Baylor community because it is Pride Month. It's a really important month to celebrate diversity in our community, particularly the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, here at Baylor College of Medicine, we celebrate all forms of diversity. Uh, we view it very much as an important uh, strategy. It's not just something you should do because it's the right thing to do. We view diversity here as a strategic imperative because you get better outcomes when you have many diverse points of view. And so when you have complex problems, having people with different points of view and different perspectives to weigh in on uh, potential solutions is the most important thing we can do to advance our organization.